Hello Dino Peeps! While the official Arc Color Evolved events may have come to an end, your adventures in the world of color are far from over. Thanks to the latest support for creating your own color sets in Arc, you can now host your personalized color events on your gportal server. In this tutorial, I guide you through the process step by step. And if you're using a different hosting service, they might offer similar abilities to host your color sets, so don't hesitate to reach out to their support for assistance. Before we start, we need to have a little bit of a preparation because to make use of your color sets, you need to host the INI file containing the color information somewhere accessible on a web host. If you already have your own web server for your website, that's fantastic. And if not, no worries because I got you covered. First, make sure to check the video description for all the necessary links. The color sets are provided by the dynamic INI that has to be hosted on a web server. It can't be hosted on your game server. The crucial point here is that the file must be available without an SSL encryption, which is unfortunately the standard for securing data transmission between websites and browsers for years. So finding a host that is free and allows non-SSL hosting can be a bit tricky, but we found a solution. 000 Web Hosting by Hostinger offers a plan that enables you to host your INI file. To get started, follow these steps. First, register for a free account on 000 Web Hosting. Log in into your account and after naming your site, and here the name doesn't matter, just make it recognizable, click on Manage and then scroll down to File Manager. Once inside the file manager, you will see two folders, one for temporary files and one for the public HTML. And we want to work within the public HTML folder. And to make things easier for you, I have pre-created a few INI files that you can simply use or just modify to your liking. Visit my GitHub profile and check out the Arc Events repository. Simply click on any INI file you prefer to download. Your browser may give you a warning due to the INI file format, but go ahead and click keep. Now with the browser window opening your web host, drag and drop the downloaded INI file into the public HTML folder. Once it's in the folder, right click it and select view. It should open in a new tab in your browser. And to proceed, change the HTTPS at the beginning of the link into HTTP. This will open the file again and will display a security warning left of it but you can just disregard it. Copy the URL. Now go back to your gportal server settings. You need to enable use dynamic config in your basic settings and paste the URL you copied earlier into the provided field below. Ensure that it starts with HTTP and not HTTPS. Scroll further down to the event color chance override and here you can adjust the frequency at which the colors appear. You can leave it as it is, but if you want the colors to be more common, you can set a value between 0 and 1, with 1 representing 100% and for example 0 0.5 representing 50%. And now save your settings on the browser and restart the server. To see the custom colors in the game, perform a dino wipe in-game with this command. And if you want to change the colors later, you don't even have to restart the server. Just access the INI file again on your web host and edit the color list following the official color name rules. You can find these color names, by the way, on the Arc Utils color page, and I linked it down in the description as well. Once you made your changes, save the INI file and use the following commands on your server. These commands will force the game to load the new INI file and then clear out the old dinos to make room for the new and colorful ones. And that's it. You've successfully set up your own custom colors in Arc. If you have any questions or you run into any issues, please feel free to leave them in the comments and we will find a solution to make it work. And now, happy dino coloring!